Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at a couple of different styles of Victorinox can openers and putting them head to head to see which one I actually think is better. Uh, this is something I've been meaning to do for a little while now and I just haven't taken the time to do it. So Victorinox over the years actually had about four or five different styles of can openers that they've implemented into their knives and then Wenger had a couple of, of different uh, styles that they use for can openers as well. So the one on the left is one that most people are going to be familiar with. It's more of the standard standardized can opener from Victorinox. It includes the can opener as well as the smaller or medium flat tip screwdriver up front. The second one is, is not as common, but it is available in several different uh, multi knives from Victorinox. This one in particular is in the Bantam. It's also available in the Compact, which is another one of my favorite uh, Victorinox knives. Now, what makes this one kind of unique is it actually works as a couple of different screwdrivers. Both works as a flat screwdriver and a flat Phillips, uh, number two Phillips. It works as a wire stripper, can opener, and bottle cap lifter. So that's kind of why I like this one better, but I've never really put them head to head. So let's uh, let's compare them. I'll show you how each one is operates, how, how you're supposed to operate each one of these. And I'll give you my opinion on which one I actually like best. So what we're going to be using for our test today is a couple of cans of tomato sauce. Now, I didn't realize it, but these expired a couple of months ago on me, so uh, I was going to have to throw them away anyway. So the first one is your regular style can opener. You'll notice that it kind of comes down. It's kind of ground on both sides, so it comes down into this more of a, of a knife edge there. And what you do is you operate this one in the forward position. So you'll hook the bottom of your can opener on the bottom lip of your can right there and then this one will pierce in and you'll work it in a forward motion so let's uh let's go around here and get this one open so this one actually works pretty well uh i have more trouble operating these than some people do you can uh you know, you can just put forward pressure on these once you get them pierced and you can actually go around them pretty quickly but you know, for this, we're just going to go, uh, just kind of do it like you might normally open these cans. So as you go around here, it, it cuts just fine. There's no, there's no issue. No, uh, you know, if I can get it catch on that lip correctly, uh, it, it really just cuts fine there. You don't have any, any problem with it piercing going around there. I do notice that it's a little bit, as you're getting more of the, of the lid open, it seems to give it a little bit more flex in the can and so I'm kind of jumping around on that a little bit so I don't get as good a results out of this uh, this type of can opener or style can opener as other people you notice it's kind of pushing down on me right there and not really piercing anymore so I'm getting it to this point if I give it a little bit more pressure I can get in there and get around it and and get it to uh, pierce correctly but as the can opens up further it's just got more flex to it so I think that'll be good enough it's good enough to get the can opener and then we can just pry that back and we've got it so let's try the other style well on this particular can I got a little bit of a flat spot here so I don't know how well I, if that's going to affect anything but we're going to kind of get started right there uh, you know for that now this particular one this one will be a draw opener so what you'll do is you'll pierce your initial pierce with this one and then you'll you'll work backwards as opposed to the other style which work forward again you're gonna just catch the lip of that uh, bottom piece there right underneath the, the rim of the can and you'll be able to walk it around so let's get started so we'll get it to pierce and then we'll just kind of work it backwards now, this one is kind of more similar to the style that I'm accustomed to in Leatherman multi-tools. While it doesn't pierce quite as well or quite as easily as those, it does seem to get around there without much, without much issue whatsoever. I am noticing because the edge of that, that opener is not sharpened up like I have on my uh, Leatherman tools, that is a little bit more difficult to to pierce into. Now it works, it's just a little bit more tedious and I'm actually getting a lot more fatigue kind of in my forearms by using this particular style, trying to get it to pierce correctly as we walk around here. I noticed that the other style is actually a little bit easier to operate and I think it has something to do with the fact that 
that uh, the other style is sharpened up sharper and this one is more blunt and so you put I have to put a little bit more force into it to get that uh, to get this particular can opener to pierce right and so that's why I'm seeing a lot more fatigue in here and well I got to a point where it just pushed the can down so I think we've got it enough there you can see that they they both operate fine uh, but I actually think I prefer the other style a little bit better in Victorinox and it's in it's due mostly to the fact that this edge here is not sh as sharp and so it doesn't pierce quite as well so in my opinion I think the the more standardized version of their can opener is probably the way to go even though this one is more versatile if you will uh, as, as far as just pure can opening functionality though I think I'd have to give it to the first one so I've cleaned this lid off a little bit and you notice I was having some trouble getting that uh, to keep piercing around there with this particular style so I'm going to try to finish it off with the Leatherman Wave. This is a style of can opener that I'm more accustomed to. Now this is also a draw cutter but uh, it has a bit more of a sharper tip on on it and it's a uh, it's built just a little well I think probably for thickness yeah it's a little bit thicker so it's a little bit more robust and then it has that sharpened edge on it so this one is actually quite a bit easier to use in my opinion so you can see where that compact was struggling there at the end this one just continues to pierce right through it and it's kind of the reason one of the reasons that I like Victor no, or excuse me uh, Leatherman uh, their Eagle Claw style can opener as opposed to either one of the Victorinox styles. Now, will they all work? Absolutely, they all work. It's just a matter of personal preference. And my personal preference would be in the Leatherman Wave. Actually, most of the Leatherman styles uh, are, incorporate this style of can opener. But between the two Victorinox knives, I would have to say that the first version is definitely the better can opener of the two. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.